Hi, I'm Hank Green. On our channel, SciShow, we teach people about science. And a big part of exploring and learning about science is making predictions and educated guesses. Scientists call these hypotheses. And they're important because they can show you if your ideas about the world are right or wrong. As you're doing this experiment, try to make predictions about what you think might happen next. It might not be what you think. You'll need a piece of cotton string along with small and large steel rings. It also might help to have some scissors on hand. First, thread your string through the small ring, then tie it tightly so that the ring is as close to the end of the string as you can get it. Next, tie the large ring to the other end of the string as close to that end as possible. If you have any loose string hanging off, you can use the scissors to snip it. Hold the small ring in one hand and use the index finger of your other hand to support the string at the end. The large large ring should now be dangling above the floor. Now it's prediction time. What do you think is going to happen if you let go of the small ring? Why? Like my prediction is that the big ring is going to fall down to the ground because it's heavy, right? Certainly heavier than, than this ring is. Once you've made your prediction, hold your index finger still and then let go of the small ring. <gasps> well, that's not what I expected. Okay. I've figured out why my hypothesis wasn't right. When I was setting up this experiment, I was building a pendulum. This is a weight hung from a fixed, unmoving point so that it can swing back and forth. In this case, the weight was the small ring and the fixed point was my finger. When I let go of that small ring, it seemed like the large one should just have dragged it down to the ground, but instead the small ring swung back and forth. That happened because I held the ring out to the side before I let go of it. And when I did let go, that made it swing like a pendulum. If your pendulum got faster over time, that's because the big ring was pulling on the string and making your pendulum shorter. And the shorter a pendulum is, the faster it goes. 